welcome back. This is Kristen on our journey through the Bible, one chapter at a time. All you got to do is give it five, ten minutes a day, and we are going to read through the Bible cover to cover. Thanks for joining me. Go ahead and subscribe and like my videos if you like the videos. And we are now in Leviticus. So if you want to follow through, you can also click and ask for the notifications. That way it'll tell you when I put up another video. Almost every day, most of the time. So we've got um, Genesis through uh, Leviticus 20 in there so far. This is 21 now. And um, this is about the priests. Yesterday we were talking about when we break the laws. And yeah, God is serious about that. So he tells us exactly what he expects of us. Now, granted, we can't always maintain that. So thank God he sent us Jesus. And now he took our sins away. But uh, we still got to give it our best shot, right? So we're going to talk about the holiness of the priests in Leviticus chapter 21. And the Lord said to Moses, speak to the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, none shall defile himself for the dead among his people, except for his relatives who are nearest to him, his mother, his father, his son, his daughter, and his brother, also his virgin sister who is near to him, who has no husband. For her he may defile himself. Otherwise he shall not defile himself, being a chief man among his people, to profane himself. They shall not make any bald place on their heads, nor shall they shave the edges of their beards, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. They shall be holy to their God and not profane the name of their God. For they offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire and the bread of their God. Therefore, they shall be holy. They shall not take a wife who is a harlot or a defiled woman, nor shall they take a woman divorced from her husband. For the priest is holy to his God. Therefore, you shall consecrate him. For he offers the bread of your God. He shall be holy to you, for I am the Lord, who sanctify you, am holy. The daughter of any priest, if she profanes herself by playing the harlot, she profanes her father. She shall be burned with fire. He who is the high priest among his brethren, on whose head the anointing oil was poured, and who is consecrated to wear the garments, shall not uncover his head, nor tear his clothes, nor shall he go near any dead body, nor defile himself for his father or his mother, nor shall he go out of the sanctuary, nor profane the sanctuary of his God. For the consecration of this anointing oil of his God is upon him. I am the Lord. And he shall take a wife in her virginity, a widow or a divorced woman or a defiled woman or a harlot, these he shall not marry, but he shall take a virgin of his own people as wife. Nor shall he profane his posterity among his people, for I am the Lord, sanctify him. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, saying, No man of your descendants in succeeding generations who any defect may approach or to offer the bread of his God. For any man who has a defect shall not approach a man blind or lame, who has a marred face or any limb too long, a man who has broken foot or broken hand, or is a hunchback or a dwarf, or a man who has a defect in his eye or eczema, or scab, or is a eunuch. No man of the descendants of Aaron, the priest, who has a defect shall come near to the offering, to offer the offerings made by fire to the Lord. He has a defect. He shall not come near to offer the bread of his God. He may eat the bread of his God, both the most holy and the holy, 
only he shall not go near the veil or approach the altar because he has a defect lest he profane my sanctuaries for I am the Lord sanctify them and Moses told it to Aaron and his sons and to all the children of Israel some of the uh, things they did who were didn't know Jesus or didn't know God and they weren't Israelis or anything they did the shaving of the head and the beard and that's why the Lord said those were their practices and he didn't want his people getting into those practices so but always dive deeper into this stuff look to another teacher like as I've mentioned I go to Pastor Chuck Smith from Calvary Chapel all his stuff is online on the word for today also on uh, YouTube as well but um, or you know there's John Corson there's Greg Glory there's so many other wonderful teachers out there who uh, can help you dive deeper into more detail in the word as we read through thanks for joining me God bless <music>